Merry Christmas to you and your family. I'm Courtney Kaysen here with Lisa Robertson. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. How are you? Well, I gotta say, I thought I thought there was gonna be a more decorated tree. I, know, I see the, with sad. the ornaments, it's really it's kind, kind of, of sparse. It's kind of bare. Yeah. It's sad. Poor tree. It's like a Charlie Brown tree. <laughs> it really is. Not a lot of life at all. <laughs> but I gotta be honest, this is amazing. <laughs> In fact, I think you're probably the friend that everybody's like, oh, we can't compete with Robertson's tree. <laughs> Better not send that Christmas card out. Actually, I was gonna say, I've had a couple of friends ask if I'd like to come do their trees. You should. Yeah, no time. You um, absolutely should. Otherwise, should. I would love it, though. I mean, I just, it's one of those trees that I'm almost afraid to touch because it's just so pretty. Well, you can tell when you look at this tree that I do not have children. You absolutely and, don't. And it's not that I don't love children, but you cannot have this tree with small children because sure. it would be all all over the floor. Well, and that, no animals but, either. Yeah, and no animals. They'd be playing. They'd be like, oh, they, yeah. is that glass? But, you know, I think, <laughs> um, you know, when I, was, when I was growing up, my mother always made the house look so pretty at Christmas. And the tree always looked beautiful. Sure. And so I, I just love decorating for Christmas. I don't know. It's, well, it it's looks kind fantastic. of my thing. Thanks. Now, how long does it take you to start preparing for it to look this glamorous? Because I know this doesn't happen overnight. Yeah, no, it takes, it takes over a week because there's three trees. Sure. And other things and the banister and the garlands. And it all comes up bare. It's all um, Bethlehem lights. Sure. Just the bare tree and the bare garlands. And everything goes back organized, and then everything comes back up and gets put on. So you take every single ornament off the tree? Yes. Now, how long does it take you to take everything down? <laughs> A while. Oh, my gosh. I know. It's bad. But it's so pretty. Now, is this just like your fall-themed tree? I mean... Yeah, this, this tree has evolved into the um, kind of bronze tones, which I love, and sure. champagnes, and rose, and greens, and golds, and all those kinds of... I don't know, just really pretty, unusual colors together, which I love. And then I make the bows, too. Well, you are a very fancy bow maker, and I think you need to start making headbands with you know bows what? that size. You that good. <laughs> <laughs> it will make your head look smaller because the bow is so big. Forget contouring, smaller That's head, right. bigger bow. <laughs> Instead of just carrying a big purse to make you look smaller, you wear a big bow. Now, are you one of those people that when you go to, you know, Christmas themed stores, are you always picking out decorations? Yeah, or I'm always I mean, just picking something up. You are? Because this is all separate pieces. So there's no real, you know, so this piece, you can see. So these are all just separate pieces. I would pieces. actually just like to cut that and put that in my hair. That would be really exotic. So you kind of just got to piece it all together. So you just kind of end up adding sure. and adding and then. Well, I love of, what you did, how it's kind of wrapped around because yeah. then it comes back up. I, you know, it just kind of gives it some flow. And then you have to have these kinds of things. These are picks. You have to have these to put in places where the ornaments don't naturally hang. Sure. So then it's all full. And it doesn't just have bare spots on that. Now it won't go back in. There you go. But, yeah. And then you put leaves in there and pine cones. And, yeah, it's well, a little much. But I like it. It's pretty stellar. And, in fact, Thanks. we've got a couple more trees we do. to talk about. Because you just didn't stop at one. No. And this one I beefed up this year. That is so cute. I'm liking now, that. Now, when you, like when you say, like when we were talking about going to Christmas-themed shops and picking out decorations, like right. obviously this is sort of a fruit-based one a little right. bit. I mean, do you get all these at the same places, or are you like, oh, that's an apple. I like that. I'll add that to the wreath above you the know, fireplace. I get them a little bit of everywhere, but I have to say I do a lot of shopping at Michael's Craft Store because they just have these kinds of sure. things. And, you know, this fruit here, I can show you better on the banister and on the yeah. side, but um, that's all one piece. It's a swag. Oh, cool. And so you put it in the garland, sure. and you just wrap some of the twigs in, some of the branches from the garland, and it just stays all by itself until you're ready to take it off, and it looks like you put a bunch of things in at once. Are you at least watching Christmas-themed movies while you're decorating just I have, yes, Polar Express has been my movie this year, <laughs> and it just keeps playing in the background, and it's all good, Scrooge with Bill Murray, another one. Oh, that's the best. Any version of Christmas Carol. That's another good one. Yeah, yeah. Fun I'm one. trying to think of what some of the other my favorite Christmas movies are, but... Yeah, all the traditional, like the Christmas that almost wasn't, and all those oh, kinds sure. of... Yeah. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. You know, the heat miser, the cold miser. Yes. It's all good. Yes. Yeah, Christmas Well, music. let's go take a tour okay. around Casa de Robertson. <laughs> I'm getting the Christmas spirit. Olé. <laughs> that is so Christmassy. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and we're back prom style on Lisa's gorgeous... Have made a really good picture. Yeah, really. <laughs> we need to send that out as a Christmas card. That would have started some rumors. I got. Okay. Yeah, I, got <laughs> I got to tell you, I've never seen more poinsettias, and they're gorgeous. That's but they're because not they're real. Fake. 
Um, yeah, all the ones in here. I like how you pick them up like that. Are fake. <laughs> uh, the ones in the kitchen and a few in the dining and a few in the family room are real, but sure. I don't really. I like the idea of a live poinsettia until it comes to the part where um, it might get water on your wood floor and create problems. Sure. So, none of that. Got it. Got them on sale. Loaded up. <laughs> Life's good. That's always the best thing to do. <laughs> now, you have got a wicked garland piece, again, I mean, as you did on your yeah. mantle the other day. And so, I mean, are you are your stairs usually like the general, like, is that your last stop in terms of decorating, or are these the first to go up because they're seemingly more simple than a tree, um, I guess? You know what, usually it's the family room first. Mm -hmm. And then um, just kind of depends on what I feel like doing. But this is three put together. Well, so I noticed actually, your little two, clips three. holding them up. Yeah, so this is the garland <laughs> grabber. We had these on QVC. They look I very remember well. those. Yeah, you they, put them to good use. If you're wondering yes, about buying them, they, they really work. do. They grab that garland, <laughs> just to let you know. <laughs> My little Bethlehem lights got the little got the little garlands on there. Now, are it's you decorating good. these before you're putting them up, or I mean, are you just? No, I put them up and then I decorate. Oh, that's cool. So, but the great thing is, is that it has the stem and the leaves. So sure. You can just really pretty much stick it in, and it will stay. Well, I like that you have, you know, kind of the flowers kind of strategically placed, like separated out, like upstairs, mm -hmm. you know, they're kind of at the top where it breaks. I just think that's a really, like, neat look, and it kind of just really carries it together. Yeah, it just flows. It's the fruit. It's the flowers. Mm, what more could you I want for the why. holiday how many season? People, how many people really even come to my front door? <laughs> Well, you know what? You really need to have an open house to get some ideas because I'm pretty sure that a major bag is going to want to come in and talk about this. Right, yes. I just turn them away all the time. You're like, oh, sorry. I didn't have time for you. <laughs> all right. Well, okay. on to our next venture. Excellent. So now we have made it to your dining room. To the blue room. Your formal <laughs> dining room with Boa. Yes. And I have I formally it. dined in here at least twice. <laughs> That's awesome. Just want you to know. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty stellar. Now, in all the years that I've owned the house. <laughs> well, you know what? At least they're memorable. A lot of people Ex formally dine all the time and they couldn't tell you the last meal they had. I bet you could probably tell us. I, I think I could. It was See? two years ago Christmas. Oh, that's fancy. <laughs> Happy anniversary. <laughs> oh, so yeah, this is what this room looks like. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> well, I love what you've done with the place. Thanks. So Thank you. you've got boas in your chandeliers. Yeah. Well, I love it. This room kind of evolved Okay. because um, I love the blue. Mm -hmm. when, I was, when I was growing up, our Christmas tree, the ornaments on it were blue and silver. Okay. So it's one of my, my favorites, and obviously with the blue you know, room. Sure. So it's all, you know... Silver, gold, mint green, blues, creams, ivories, whites, all that kind of good stuff. Um, and then I was looking somewhere and they put garlands in the chandeliers, greenery. Mm -hmm. And I thought, that's nice, but I really need something to go with the kind of white theme. So <laughs> I took feather boas, because I like to decorate upstairs with feather boas. Sure. And use them as garlands. Yeah. And make wreaths out of them, things, because I need a hobby. Um, so I took the boas. <laughs> I think you got and, one. Um, <laughs> and put them in the chandelier, and then I put the glittery stuff on it, and I really like it. But you know what? It's so dramatic, and it's just so awesome. I really feel like we're in Marilyn Monroe's house. Oh, yeah. Lisa Roberts. That would Marilyn be good. Marilyn Monroe. That would be good. Oh, my gosh. No, but it's just, it's different. And quite honestly, yeah. you know, I've never seen that before. And I just think it's so neat because, you yes. know, I feel like I only see boas at bachelorette parties. <laughs> and you have really taken it up to a classy notch, might I, I add. I have, because if you'll notice, it's on the windowsill like snow. Yes. That's cute. You know what I love? <laughs> and then I use them for the arrangement here. And, you know, and I really great. like that arrangement because I well, feel like. Well, this is like all the extra ornaments. And what a great use that is, because yeah. a lot of times you have vases, vases, if you will, and it's like you don't have enough fun stuff to put right. it in, and it's like you could do fruit, but eventually that's going to go bad. This is really great, and it's really kind of put your own touch on it. And these these I did myself. What? I painted them with glue, and then I put glitter on them. Can I touch them? Yeah, these kind of white clear ones. <gasps> oh, my Ooh, gosh. crafty. Um, and then some of them, so what happens when the top comes off? Well, what do you do with that ornament? Well, you just make it into part of the... That is Display. an extremely good idea. Hmm? Because I know hmm? when we were younger, we would make ornaments, but we'd hang them with paper clips, and eventually those paper clips are going to lose themselves somewhere That's in your home. That's what I'm saying. That's perfect. So, yeah, then you just do all the extra. A little boa. A little, little touch. sprigs. Very nice. You know what I like about your house? It sparkles, and it blings with glitter. It is sparkly. 
It's I a love sparkly it. house. I like the sparkly. I'm all into sparkly. Oh, and then right over there, you'll notice that yes. I put Christmas lights underneath the boa. That's a new one for this year. Now, did you use the battery operated pack? No, those because plug I don't in. see a cord. Well, you oh, did a great job. Yeah. Okay. But I saw somebody put Christmas lights and drape it in sheer fabric. Really? And I thought, hmm. I bet that would work under the feather boa, and I think it's really nice. I think it's actually really nice, too, because one of the things that I liked about it that I was noticing, you can't really see the distinct where the light is. It just right. looks like it's magical and lit up. She's a very magical girl. Now, My speaking little magic wand. of magical, that Santa Claus in the corner, oh, that's regal. I love the Mr. Santa, and I, I never know where to put him, so he kind of travels around the house. That's okay. Yeah, this year he's in that corner. Sure. But he has a nice vantage point on the rest of the room. Absolutely. Yeah. And you know, that's very, you know, Santa travels in real life, so it just should exactly. be here that he should travel in your home. I think if he's stuck in one place all season, it should be a good view. Oh, sure. Yeah. Now there's one of your bows again. How long has that been around? Because that's yeah. a regal one. Well, you know what? I will have to admit that this is the one bow in the house I did not make. Really? Yeah, so well, I was came... about to say you're going to take yourself to another level yeah, on that no, one. <laughs> this is, it's a double bow, so the nice thing is, is it showed me how to do this bow if I do ever want to do one. Sure. Um, but yeah, there was. I got a tree one year that had ornaments already on it, and the tree itself was horrible. Yeah. It didn't even work. It was so bad, I threw it out after one year, but <gasps> I took all the ornaments off so I could reuse them. So that was that bow, and that was some of these ornaments that were wired to the tree, so I yanked them off and put different hangers on because <laughs> I do not want to waste any Christmas, okay? Oh, no, never. Never waste any Christmas. So, um, you know, it ended up being part of now, you know, a tree that does work. But this is the new flock tree from Bethlehem Lights they did this year. I love it. I've been actually admiring that in our beauty set, and it's just such a winter yeah. wonderland happy tree. Yeah, and I like it because it's white, but it's not all white because all white is a little too white. Speak for yourself. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, you want to go to the family room now? Yeah. Okay, come on. Uh, we made it. Yay, to, to the big the, tree. To the final, yeah. I feel like it's the grand finale. It, it's, it is the biggest tree. It's. I just love it. It's red and it's gold. It's like a queen tree, a queen tree. It is. I love it. I now, love how it. long does it take you to decorate this one? Um, because this one's got some major work on it. Yeah, because there's I ornaments. Usually, I usually back start there. with this, and I counted up that there were over 300 ornaments on the tree before you even saw them on the outside. So, if you add in the outside, I don't know, 600, 500. I, I don't know. I feel like it's like if I put my hand all the way in there, I'm actually touching an ornament. So right. Look, well, that stops fill. there. You know, you have to fill the inside sure. with ornaments so that you don't see through the tree. Absolutely. Well, that's... especially when there's light behind it from a big window, you really can see through, you know, so you have to fill it and then put stuff on the outside. Now, if you don't mind me saying, I yes. really think this reminds me of the book um, Chronicles of Narnia a little Ooh, bit nice. at the top. Yeah. I like it. I just think that with these little, are they just little berries? Little sprigs. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it just, it's almost like human-like, like there's the crown, <laughs> there's the little sash, and then there's the gorgeous gown. <laughs> <laughs> that would work. I that absolutely work. love it. Now, do you ever put presents under this tree because it literally goes to the floor? I know. You know, um, it's hard to find trees made like that anymore that sure. really go all the way to the floor like that. But I do. I put presents all around, kind of lift up the bottom branch and put the presents underneath. Now, but. do you ever put any, like, handmade ornaments on this? Ever? Um, this one is all bought. I didn't make any of these. Have you ever done the cool, like, glass-blown ornaments ever? You know what? I've seen those, and I haven't done them on the trees because they haven't fit in the themes. Oh. Uh, what are you going to do? Just because, you know, there's themes. So <laughs> It's kind of like clicks, but for ornaments. Sorry. Right. Exactly. Sorry. <laughs> Wrong click. <laughs> right. Now, I have to ask, with right. the garland that's on the mantle, the gorgeous mantelpiece. Yeah, that's a little... A I lot. love it. I love Thanks. your little stocking, how it <gasps> curls at the end. Isn't that cute? It's really well, you know, cute. That started out as a regular garland, and then I decided that it wasn't quite, um, I, know. I know, I feel like I, I should like, put my... <laughs> um, that it wasn't quite beefy enough. So then I took swags and put them on top of the garland, starting from the center out. Sure. And then added all the fruit, and then the bow, and then the feathers. So I think it's quite dramatic. To say the year. least. To say yeah. the least, it's just yeah. a, you know what, it's a, no to say it's a normal garland piece, <laughs> I mean, that would just a flat out lie. 
But you know what? I really like the flameless candle that you put up there because it's like, you know, with garland and regular, you can't associate the yeah. two because then it's like... No, you can look around this room and there are flameless candles everywhere. Stuck in the bookcase, on top of the bookcase, near the garland, on the coffee table. I love those flameless it's candles. It's very romantic. Yeah. Especially Unless you're by yourself, walls. which I normally am. But if hey. you weren't by yourself, it would be really romantic. <laughs> Well, I just think it's, I mean, it just no, it gives is. something. <laughs> it's nice. And a lot of them are on timers, so when you come in, yeah. you know, they're already going. And You're like, oh, hello, happy house. Yes, the house is nice. No, so I love good. it. And I love that you've put more poinsettias. I mean, you have really just made this a top-notch house. And I'm telling you. you, people are going to want you to send out postcards of how you decorate with how-tos. Oh. Well, this is just major. Thank you. But thank it's you for fun. letting us come into your home. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you have a good Christmas. Oh, thanks. I hope you get lots of stuff in your stocking because it's really you. pretty. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, and that's not much that will fit in that stocking, but some really good presents because some of the best presents are small could definitely fit in there. I think the best presents in the world are stocking stuffers. <laughs> I if love it. starts with a diamond. Ooh. Ooh. Or chocolate. Ooh. Now I'm yeah. getting hungry. But you made some good banana bread earlier. This I did. one, you can quite the some. baker. You're a really good baker. Now you don't have to delicious. worry about your lip gloss coming off. I know. <laughs> I'm so self-absorbed. I can't stand it. Anyways. She'll happy. fit right in. <laughs> <laughs> a very Merry Welcome Christmas. <laughs> You've arrived. Way too much lip gloss. I'm like, just pile it off. But no, a very Merry fun. Christmas. Thank you. And very thank you for Christmas. letting us into your home. And if you would like to see more of Lisa Robinson, you can always catch her on PM Style or probably soon hosting her own Christmas shows with how-tos. There you go. Merry Bye. Christmas.